Welcome, welcome to the ASUS ZenBook Grand Launch and Creator Conference. How's everyone feeling today? Everyone's good? Good commute out here? Who, who drove out here today? That was, a, that was a mistake, wasn't it? Yeah, it's, it's not the best, but we're so glad you made it. And yes, if you're wondering, my shoes are made of the same stuff the floor is. Hmm. Now, tonight is not just a creator conference and product launch. The people at ASUS, they're celebrating 30 years, they're a little bit older, a little bit wiser, and they've realized that our region of ANZ is very needy, and they may have neglected us a little bit, right? We're, we're needy people here in Australia, right? We need love and attention, and maybe New Zealand as well, no one really cares. <laughs> but they are here to make a difference, so tonight, is the welcome back party for ASUS. So let's give them a round of applause. They're here to show us how much they love us and they'll never, ever leave us again, right? If you show us more love, a bit more. Come on, guys. We need them. We're very needy. We want them to stick around. So let's get it started. Keep it going for our very first guest. Please welcome the ASUS Corporate Vice President and Global Manager of Worldwide Sales, Mr. Eric Chen. Good afternoon, my dear friends. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. I hope you guys will enjoy the event today. I'm excited as we turn 30s this year. What makes me even more, even more excited and proud is we has been, we have shown tools to our re-endless re engineering design, and uh, on this incredible journey. One that has made us strong together and wise together. And we have designed a special emblem to celebrate the 30 years of the people-centric design and engineering persistence. And we are honored and to have been serving the hardcore tech community, enthusiasts, gamers, creators, and consumers for the last 30 years. And we aspire to continue to create the most progressive, intelligent, heartfelt, and joyful smart life for everyone. It is a promise from ASUS to you. I, once again, thank you for coming. I hope you can enjoy the rest of the event. Thank you. Thank you very much, Eric. Now, our next speaker is going to walk us through 30 years of ASUS. I mean, did you guys even know computers were around 30 years ago? I honestly thought they were like the last three or four years max, but... There is a long and storied history there, and there's no one better to take us through it than the APAC manager of sales. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Rex Lee. Good afternoon. Thank you very much for joining us. Today, we got some really exciting things to share with you. But before that, I would like to begin with the story of ASUS, who we are and where we are going. This is a humble start of ASUS, 1989, the year of our birth. Our founders, who are four super talented engineers, established ASUS in a small apartment in Taipei, Taiwan. What motivated them is their deep passion for technology. And their goal was to prove to the world that we can make the best motherboard in the world. And this is exactly the spirit that inspired more and more talent to join our incredible journey for the next 30 years. And this is a spirit of In Search of Incredible. In Search of Incredible is our brand promise. 
ASUS is passionate about technology and driven by innovation. We dream, we dare, and we strive to create an effortless and joyful digital life for everyone. We are always in search of incredible ideas and experiences, and we aspire to deliver the incredible in everything we do. The same passion has led us to three decades of incredible innovation that have pushed our industry forward. We brought to the world the world's first Lamborghini laptop, the world's first bamboo laptop, the world's first laser laptop, the world's first netbook, the EPC that you are familiar with, and the world's first ultra book, the Zen book. 2012, in this year, we stunned the world again. Together with Intel, we launched the world's first ultra book, the Zen book. It had completely changed the landscape of single light computing and it represents the best of the best from ASUS. Then we start a journey of revolution. From the perfect fusion of glass and metal on the ZenBook US301 to the world's thinnest convertible laptop, ZenBook US370. And last year, we introduced the screen pad on ZenBook Pro. This innovation helped to unleash all the creativity and productivity demanded by the professionals. And today, we will introduce you our latest and most innovative ZenBook ever. Besides laptop, Asus also offer a complete range of products to meet the consumers' demand in their digital life. And this also contributes to our worldwide recognition and outstanding performance. For example, the prestigious laptop magazine in the United States rank Asus as the number two best laptop brand for the year 2019. They say Asus shot to the second place this year thanks to the innovation it brought to the table. The design of Asus laptops continue to impress, and the company offers a wide selection of product. And in terms of product innovation, we got the score 10 out of 10 by the laptop magazine. The PC magazine from the United States also ranked Asus as the number one desktop brand. This is the second year in a row that Asus has won the Reader's Choice Award in the desktop PC category. Through our dedication to design and innovation, Asus has won more than 53,000 awards from worldwide media since 2001. And we believe very few companies in the world can win so many awards. This proves that ASUS products are more innovative and has better performances than the others. Fortune also praised ASUS as one of the most admired technology companies for four years. Forbes also named ASUS among the world's top galaxy company for two consecutive years for trustworthiness, social conduct, and the performance of the company's product and service. Thomson Reuters also selected ASUS as one of the top 100 global technology leaders in 2018. ASUS is the absolute number one multiple brand worldwide. Since 1989, we have sold over 560 million mount ball that could circle the earth for more than four times. Driven by innovation, Asus continued to be the number one gaming laptop brand worldwide. You can see we are dominant leader in the worldwide gaming. We are number one in USA with 28% market share. Number one in Canada with 54% market share. Number one in UK with 41% market share. 
Number one in France with 34% market share. Number one in Indonesia with 54% market share. And Asus is also the top three consumer laptop brand worldwide, according to the latest ITC report, first half of 2019. We are ahead of Apple, Acer, and Dell in the worldwide consumer laptop market. In our home market, Asia Pacific, we are also a solid number one consumer laptop brand According to the ITC report, first half of 2019, Asia Pacific is good in China. We win against HP, Dell, Lenovo, all the other brands in the Asia Pacific consumer noble market. In Southeast Asia, we have over 30% market share in consumer laptops. And if you see the Microsoft daily activation report for Q3 2019, we have reached 38.2% market share in the South Asia six countries, including Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia, Philippines, and Vietnam. So we are quite strong in this region. And you can see we are number one in Indonesia with 42% market share, number one in Vietnam with 34% market share. Number one in Malaysia with 31% market share. Number one in Thailand with 34% market share. Asus is also number one dominant leader in Epic gaming laptops. We are number one in Indonesia with 59% market share. Number one in Vietnam with 49% market share. Number one in Philippines with 34% market share. Number one in Malaysia with 48% market share. Number one in Thailand with 42% market share. Number one in Singapore with 36% market share. And today in Australia, we also have great achievement. For the consumer laptop, we have more than two times year-on-year -year growth. And for the gaming laptop, we also have four times growth year-on-year. -year. And we will continue to invest to put a lot of resources to make sure we are growing up quickly in the Australia and New Zealand market. So this is just a very quick and brief update about ASUS. I hope it will give you the confidence on our product innovations and our commitment to Australia and New Zealand market. Thank you. Thank you very much, Rex. Wow, 30 years, you saw a lot of stats and firsts and timelines. If anyone's interested, I'm also 30 this year, and my friends made a similar timeline, but it wasn't as impressive. It was more like 2007, Danny gets kicked out of Star Bar. 2008, Danny gets kicked out of World Bar. 2009, Danny passes out of Eric's house. So it's not as impressive, but uh, maybe I'll invent something in the future. Now, our next speaker is an absolute creative genius. He's responsible for a lot of the beauty you see across ASUS products. Please welcome to the stage, Industrial Design Manager of the ASUS Design Center, Mr. Jason Loy. Good afternoon. On behalf of um, ASUS Design Center, I'd like to extend a warm welcome to all of you. In 2006, ASUS designers experimented with using unconventional uh, materials to create the S6F leather collection. Back then, it was the first laptop in the world that's encased in genuine leather. This leather-bound laptop was a design breakthrough. It drove ASUS to continuously pursue innovation with the aim to create products with perfect balance of uh, beauty, performance, and quality. To celebrate 30 years of innovation, we are excited to introduce to you our new classic. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present to you Zenbook Edition 30. Thank you. 
The Zenbook Edition 30 definitely brings a modern twist to the classic leather collection. This special edition Zenbook is encased in pearl white genuine leather with contrasting rose gold diamond cut trim around it and a special 30th anniversary emblem, making this one of the most fashionable laptop ASUS have ever created. It is designed to reflect ASUS' passion for technology and craftsmanship. We went the extra mile, carefully handpicking the finest Italian leather to ensure only the best for Zenbook Edition 30. Dedicated artisan meticulously hand stitch and hand finish every single piece of leather, and each leather is further complemented with the 30th anniversary emblem. The emblem is more than just a logo to celebrate ASUS' 30th birthday. It symbolizes progress, the search for innovation, the pursuit of aesthetics, and most importantly, the need to think about our users every time we design a product. Despite being the world's smallest 13-inch laptop designed with an ultra-compact chassis, edition, Zenbook Edition 30 is fitted with a full HD Nano H display, offering near borderless visual to make productivity easier and entertainment more enjoyable. In addition, this laptop also comes with the new ScreenPad 2.0, a secondary display touchpad that gives instant access to app-specific settings and enhances productivity. For a complete collection, Zenbook Edition 30 is accompanied by a set of premium accessories, which includes a genuine leather sleeve cover, a matching mouse with a mouse pad, all packaged in well-crafted cases. Now, I believe Many of us might see this laptop design as a form of decoration or style, but at ASUS, the Zenbook is not only regarded as the highest form of creative expression, it is the perception of um, positive quality and usability. So with this reason, ASUS designer will constantly seek new inspiration and innovative solution to create a joyful and seamless digital experience for everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Lena Tung, the product manager, the country product manager of Australia, to introduce to you more of the exciting products from ASUS. Thank you for having me. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Lena. Thank you for joining us today to celebrate ASUS 30th anniversary. I hope you guys like our 30th edition like I do. In the following few minutes, I would like to give you some updates of the breakthrough ASUS has made in the past one year from technology point of view or user scenario point of view. We all live in a fast-paced and diverse life. To keep us ahead, multitasking has been a requirement, not a choice. To find a perfect balance, synchronization between entertainment and work has become more and more important. A simple question for everyone here. How many screens are you living with per second, per day? Well, I hope and I believe the answer is more than one because that's the reason why last year in 2018, ASUS introduced the market ScreenPad 1.0 on ZenBook Pro series. We are very pleased to see that. The innovation of ScreenPad has been well received by medias and customers all over the world. This year, we refines and optimizes the user experience. We are very excited to introduce you the second generation of ScreenPad, ScreenPad 2.0. It's more intuitive, more powerful, and more energy efficient. To give you and user a more straightforward experience, 
we redesigned the user interface to be a more smartphone-like interface. It is now a 5.65-inch Full HD display down on the touchpad that works just like your mobile phone. Of course, with ScreenPad 2.0, we still emphasize the function of entertainment. So you can still play videos or music at the same time while you're working. I personally think it will be super useful during the Rugby World Cup season. The ScreenPad 2.0 is very useful for creating artworks. You can use it easily to reference source images from photo album or internet without switching applications. While preparing office tasks, you can get the job done faster with specially adapted design apps like Sheet Expert, Doc Expert, and Slide Expert. For those who use instant messaging apps very often on your laptop, now you can launch all of the apps on your ScreenPad 2.0 to prevent them from, from bothering your workspace. To share our fantastic experience to a wider range of customers, this year we bring ScreenPad 2.0 to a wider ZenBook lineup, including ZenBook Edition 30. MSRP in Australia will start from 2799. ZenBook 14 inch and 15 inch. MSRP in Australia will start from 1799 and 2499. We'll have ZenBook Flip 15 inch with ScreenPad 2.0 in Australia very soon as well. In fact, not only ZenBook series this year, ASUS VivoBook S series, the most youthful and colorful range in ASUS, now also comes with ScreenPad 2.0. MSRP in Australia will start from 1399. Well, let's find out more of this machine from the video. Let me show you what I do when I call the shot. It's a tight rope, baby, you walk across. Got the fire in my palms, I'm just warming up. Cause I'ma be a winner. Always been into bigger, the bigger, better the picture. I see myself in the mirror, only got one shot. The pressure pulling the trigger, I'm flowing like I'm a river. And I ain't even delivered. You put yourself in my shoes. See, see the world from my view. Love, love the art that you do. Create, create your print and stay true. There ain't no soul that can stop me. My work is my hobby. I see them all copy. They all try to knock me. They cannot talk me. You won't get to do what I do because you're not me. There ain't no soul that can stop me. My work is my hobby. I see them all copy. They all try to knock me, but they cannot talk me. You won't get to do what I do because you're not me. Love, love the art that you do. Wow, wow the world and stay true. ASUS is always evolving the way people use laptops. Last year, we gave users the concept of engaging your PC through a secondary display. Today, with ScreenPad 2.0, we extend this experience to a wider range of customers and all our high-end laptops. However, we do know that Laptop is still a very important platform that people use to empower their creation and work. They need something more than communication, more than entertainment, more than synchronization. So we need something powerful enough for those pro users like gamers, programmers, creators, and heavy planners. To meet this extreme productivity standard, Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you ZenBook Pro Dual UX581, the laptop of tomorrow.
Asus will never stop per pursuing perfection, and I do hope that you like ZenBook Pro Dual as I do, and it does go beyond your imagination. PC Mag has stated that ZenBook Pro Dual is a laptop from 2020s. So how good is this dual screen machine? Well, the main screen comes with a 15.6-inch 4K OLED display, and the second screen, ScreenPad Plus, provides a 14-inch 4K view for a real and immersive dual screen experience. To meet the highest industry standard, the 4K main screen provides a HDR contrast with 100% DCI-P3 wide color gamut, which enables your image to be more vivid. Another industry standard, which will be very helpful for creators, is that the main screen is Pantone validated, allowing designers to see the exact shade of color that goes on their screen and printed images. If you need more than two screens, well, just connect the HDMI and Thunderbolt 3 cables, then you can enjoy maximum four 4K displays at the same time. Besides being a highly capable second display, let me share some of the special functions ScreenPad Plus can offer you. It can help you with your productivity, creativity, and multitasking. ScreenPad allows you to have different apps and tasks down with one simple click. With Microsoft's tool, you can easily manage one, two, or even three displays different apps on ScreenPad Plus easily. Want to see more content on the display? Simply move your fingers to the screen extension mode icon, and the content will spin into the second display. Handwriting and stylus support enable you to draw or write naturally, and you can automatically convert writing to text. Well, we truly believe that the ScreenPad Plus and all of its functions can give creators a more comfortable and easier experience. Now, please stay with me to unleash your imagination further. If you are a movie maker or YouTuber, you can use ScreenPad Plus to show timelines for software like Adobe Premiere Pro. If you are a photographer, the main display can show your photo as large as possible, while ScreenPad Plus can be used to show your editing toolbars in Photoshop. If you are into music production, the ScreenPad Plus can be used to show the different tracks of audio or control panel. And for 3D design, the ScreenPad Plus can be used to show the texture palette easily. As a writer or editor, you can organize your content easily and efficiently. If you are a programmer, you can use the extended screen space to show more code. This also allows you to see the change of the program immediately when you change the code. If you are a gamer, you can do live stream and chat with your teammates while battling. You can even view full images, full view maps, or character info on ScreenPad Plus. Of course, UX 5.1 not only have impressive displays, it is the very first time ASUS redesigned the concentric circle to an off-centered metal spun design. It is CNC milled with all aluminum design for great durability and a premium look. Talking to performance. UX581 is no doubt a performance beast. It is equipped with Intel 9th Gen Core i9 processor, an RTX 2060 graphic card, a workstation level powerhouse. Innovation is the key to the evolution of Intel Core architecture. Intel 9th Gen Core i9 processor, Intel's most powerful mobile processor ever, will take gaming content creation, and premium performance to a whole new level. This RTX laptop comes with NVIDIA Studio drivers for the best reliability in creative apps, 
supporting fast ray racing, AI processing, high resolution video editing, and many other functions. To further ensure silky smooth operation and maximum performance are available at all times, ZenBook Pro Duo built in a dedicated turbo fan button to boost cooling systems. The special cooling fans will efficiently disperse all of the heat generated, so you can simply concentrate on the task at hand. To ensure there's no internet delay and a delay on transferring files, UX581 comes with the latest Wi-Fi 6 and Thunderbolt 3 connectivity. For Pro users, the ErgoLift design and inbox palm rest accessory can bring you a very comfortable typing experience. ZenBook Pro Duo pushes the limit of the industry in all aspects, and I hope you guys like it. The selling price of ZenBook Pro Duo UX581 in Australia will start from 4499. Well, I like UX581 a lot. However, for some of the users who would like to bring their machine every day and everywhere, or they are not that heavy, they are lighter content generators or multitasking workers, we do provide a more suitable choice for you, which is a 14-inch version, ZenBook Dual UX481. With a weight of only 1.5 kilogram and a thickness of 19.9 millimeters, it's an ultra-portable powerhouse that allows you to bring this machine on the go. To ensure you can have non-stop usage, we put a 70-watt battery in this machine, which allows it to last more than 16 hours. If you turn off the screen pad, this machine can last up to 22 hours. And of course, the performance of ZenBook Duo is still top of the best. Graphic card-wise, it's using MX250 graphic card. And the most important part is this machine is equipped with the latest Intel 10th Gen Core i7 CPU, the next generation of perfection Intel 10th Gen processor offers an even better user experience. That's the reason why we can make ZenBook Duo so portable and so powerful at the same time. With more expectations of faster connectivity, longer battery life, and simple convenience, the new Intel 10th Gen Core i3, i5, and i7 processors have been created for premium thin and light notebooks and two-in-ones. Well, ZenBook Duo is not the only one who's empowered with Intel 10th Gen CPU, actually. We have launched a full range high-end products together with it, including ZenBook Duo, ZenBook 14 and 15-inch, ZenBook Flip 15-inch, and VivoBook S series. Last but not least, with all the above features, selling price of ZenBook Duo UX 4A1 starts from 1699. Thank you. And an even better news is all of the above incredible products we mentioned today are or will be available in our partner shops nationwide. Thank you again for supporting ASUS this year, and thank you again for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lena. Some wonderful products there. And that last price point, very uh, affordable, isn't it? There was one gentleman out here who went yay a bit too quickly, I think, though. I think it was just, if you're on a date tonight, ugh, maybe just wait for everyone else to cheer at the, the lower price there. But uh, like I said, this is ASUS's entry, re-entry back in to the ANZ market. And it's been a bit formal. We've had some great executive speakers here the people from the brand itself to tell you all about it. But I think we should loosen things up, right? I, I think it's time. No? <laughs> woo! Woo! OK, so I'm not too sure if you guys have uh, seen. There's been a couple of clues. Maybe you've just seen who will be joining us on the panel. Anyone know who will be up here? I mean, if you've seen the front row, you can guess. Yes, yeah, so who do you know is going to be up on this stage? Austin Evans. Austin Evans. Yes, well, 
I mean, he doesn't really need an introduction, but let's welcome one of the most prolific YouTubers in the tech space all the way from across the Pacific, Mr. Austin Evans. Oh, wow, that's big. Yeah, it is big. <laughs> it's a good looking face, though. I don't know about that. <laughs> How are you going? Good? Great, man. This yeah. is actually my very first time in Australia. Yes, very exciting. Uh, very tired. <laughs> got some uh, colloquialisms and stereotypes you're very keen to get into? Everything's not upside down. I'm pretty happy yeah. about that. Well, this, this is <laughs> so far. This is going to be hard. Now, let's welcome our second guest. This man is one of the most prolific YouTubers in the art scene. He's an artist, definitely, in every definition of the word. He can also compose, sing, and I bet he's a fantastic dancer as well. Please welcome to the stage, Australia's own Jazza! You don't want to see me dance, trust me. It's <laughs> not all it's... Yeah, no. Nah. Hey, <laughs> Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. So you're from Melbourne, so Sydney's probably a downgrade at this stage, just like, ugh. Nah, nah, I love Sydney. Yeah, it is good, you gotta go out like <laughs> 10 p.m. and there's like three or four people out. Now, our next guests are the definition of a power couple. I sometimes tell my girlfriend, why can't we be more like them? And then realize I can't afford trips to Barcelona. Please welcome the Australia's own lifestyle YouTubers, Kane and Pia, fresh from Monaco. Hello, hello. Hey guys, and, and, and the most close of, of all from Sydney. Yes, local. So, so good, good so travel easy. out here? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, we didn't, we weren't local today. No. I feel like you travelled the furthest to get here. I know, mm. we and actually, you live here. yeah, we live like 30 minutes away, but we travelled 30 hours yeah. to get yeah. here. It's, it's difficult. <laughs> if things get wobbly, don't blame us. Yeah. <laughs> now, of course, uh, we are here, thanks, we're not going to hark on about it too much because of the Zen Book Pro duo, and I said, ASUS is really going to take care of our region. That's why we have a world exclusive, their brand new official product video for the ZenBook Pro Duo. Let's take a look. Here's a calm lake. Is that a meteorite back there? <laughs> Boom! Yeah, it is. It's an advanced ASUS meteorite, and it's here to wipe out the dinosaurs. Whatever this is, it looks otherworldly. It's a rug? It's a coaster? No, it's a bloody laptop! I knew it! It's a laptop that doesn't need books and random sh under it to help it breathe. What are the key specs? An extra 14 inch display. Explosion! Up above there's a DC IP3 colour gamut, whatever the f that is. Oh, it helps you multitask. Or it encourages you to live in a world of endless distraction. You can have all of your tabs open, all of your apps, all of the things, all of the time. Why do one job when you can do a million jobs? Nah, I'm being a critical thinker. don't listen to me. You can keep your apps under control. The power is in your hands. If you arrange all your shit responsibly on the two screens, everything will be okay. It's designed for artistic it's like Microsoft Paint on steroids. Oh, look at how the pencil glides along. It is definitely drawing a and balls. You can do your own accounting on it, crunch numbers, turbo cooling. It's a bloody air conditioner. Crikey, there's an upside down pyramid. It's releasing a curse, a curse of efficiency and productivity. Video editing, that's my jam. Randomly coming up with shoe designs, yes. Gaming, streaming, streaming and gaming all at once. Zenbook, the laptop of tomorrow. Why not make it the laptop of today? Just saying. <laughs> yeah, I reckon that's a good point. Hey, like, why, why not make it the laptop of today? Because the future is now, ASUS. I've always wanted to say that at a tech conference. The future is now. Yes. And of course, we have Aussie Man who comes with his own chair. Yeah, sorry I'm late. I'm here. I'm here though. I made it. So, so tell us, it looks like there was a lot of research put into to that product video. Oh, yeah. I know all about the PCI Color 3 gamut. I bloody, I touch it. I just poke it. I, uh, no, I know, the, I know my specs. I know what I'm talking about. That's I think I'm out of a job. Yeah, no, I'm going to put you out of a job, Austin. I'm bloody coming for you. You and Marquise Brownlee, bloody going for it. <laughs> there you go. Now, obviously, you've uh, come stateside, and you're not actually here for that long, are you? No, I'm here for 21 hours. 
That is a commitment. Wow. Well, there's not too much you can do in 21 hours. So I'm going to give you the quintessential Aussie experience. This is all you need to do, and you can hop back on a plane. Uh, okay. I need the uh, audience to help out with this one. It's kind of like magic. We're very magical, spiritual people here in Australia. Are you really? All you have to say is at the top of your lungs to the audience, if you say Aussie, 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 something amazing happens. Try it. Are we sure about this? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Is yeah, everyone literally in this room about to prank Just me? Just do it. No, no, go, for go, it. go for it. This is go. the quintessential Australian experience. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi! Oh, there you go. You can get on the plane now. <laughs> okay, cool. That's, that's a solid Thanks effort. Thanks for not leaving me hanging there. I really thought everyone's about to play a prank on me. <laughs> you actually never know what way it will go. Like, sometimes I go to the tennis and someone's trying to get everyone ramped up and they're like, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! And everyone's like, shut up, we're over that. <laughs> <laughs> to a very Settle hospitable... Down. To yeah. Austin, fortunately. Now, if you haven't uh, been too familiar with our uh, influences here, we've got a little bit of a, a game. They've obviously been doing this a long time, very prolific in each of their scenes and their craft. And I've asked them to come up with a little anecdote about their creative journey. And once again, we want you to be involved. You have to guess whether they're telling the truth or not. So we'll start from uh, you, Austin. What, give us a little anecdote, and we will uh, tell whether you're lying or not. So I've been making videos for quite a few years at this point. And one of the most exciting days, and exciting is in air quotes here, was when my apartment caught on fire. Yeah. What? Did you so, make a video out of it? <laughs> well, I mean, wouldn't you? Maybe, Quick, maybe, get maybe yeah. <laughs> so, uh, this is good content. Is he lying to your face, or is this a true story? Let's hear for a true story. True story. True? A lie? Oh. oh wow. <laughs> like, who, thinks, who thinks they're lying? Let's get a, let's get a hands up. Oh, wow. No, I think, I think most people actually... Two people. Quite well, yeah. And it's they're quite true, adamant it? about it. It is true. Oh, no, he's fucking lying. <laughs> he's lying. <laughs> yeah. I'm positive. It is true. And yes, you did make some content around didn't you? I did, yeah. Uh, I woke up one morning and everything was on fire. So yeah. that wasn't fun. But it's crazy. It's Especially okay. for a tech person. That's yeah, I had a lot of really nice stuff. <laughs> was it tech that caused the fire? Was like no, it was something actually, overheat? Or it, was, it was my neighbor. But, oh, okay. Oh, you know. oh, that's fun. That's less exciting. You could have yeah, given I, a really bad review to whatever it you was. Know, I feel like yeah. we were all excited a second ago. Everyone was excited. And now I just brought everyone down. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I don't feel like I should laugh at that. I'm like, that's someone's house. Are you on fire. Is everything okay? <laughs> Actually, yes. we think about it, it's a bit like that now. Jazza. Are you going to lie to our lovely audience's faces or are you going to tell them a lovely warming anecdote? Maybe. Well, I like to try everything creative that I possibly can. Uh, some conventional, some less conventional. Um, everyone's here has heard of an Etch-a-Sketch, I'm assuming. You know, the two little twiddlies and you can draw up or down. So once I tried to draw with an Etch-a-Sketch and I got so infuriated, things escalated to the point where I ended up actually hitting myself in the face with a sledgehammer. Okay. Wait. Well, that escalated. You hit yourself with the sledgehammer. Yeah. Jazza hitting himself in the face with a sledgehammer. Let's get uh yes? yes. Or no? No. I think they think you're lying. It's true. It's true. Oh. It's actually true. <laughs> Tell us how one Well, I, I went to destroy the Etch-a-Sketch. Because I thought, I is can't make anything with this. This is not good content. So I'm going to destroy the Etch-a-Sketch. And I tried to be cool and like flip it. But the center of gravity on a sledgehammer is on the sledge. So it just sort of spun around and whacked me in the face. Well, glad you're still with us. I got it on video. It was a good video. So oh, OK. That's all that matters. That's all that matters, yeah. Fire. This is, this is a dangerous path. We've got sledgehammer incident, and we have uh, a fire. So uh, Pia, t try to take us down a happy alleyway. Okay. Give us your anecdote. So Kane and I have a vlog channel with a lot of travel and lifestyle content. But about five years before we started that channel, we actually used to make really funny little videos where I would do tech reviews. Yes, <laughs> I'll stay my Whoa. <laughs> Everyone's in your space. We mate. would do little tech reviews, and Kane asked me, or bet me actually, that I wouldn't wear 3D glasses where I popped out the lenses to make me look a little bit more nerdy. <laughs> and I wore them for an entire month. So a be month? a uh, an entire month. To be a nerd for a month. Uh huh. Do we have any yays? Any nays? Oh, it's Ooh. a bit split there. <laughs> Go, Pia. It's true. It's true, yes. Trying to be, For a full uh, month? Yeah, to uni and everything. Wow, cool. <laughs> That's very nice. <laughs> Do you take offense to that as a real glass wearer? I mean, this is the way I look all the time. Are they, yeah, no. Do you have... Are they... They're real glasses. Real? You can confirm. All right, checks out. Yeah, We're good. Checks out. <laughs> They're not See, for sure. I was aspiring. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be a little bit more blind. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, now, Kane, do you want to Sorry. lie to our lovely audience's faces or... 
to tell it's been them pretty truthful right. so far. Yes, if truthful. you guys watch the vlogs, you'll know that I like to fly my drone. Now, my true or false is, in the last 12 months, I've crashed a drone eight times. That's an expensive exercise. That's yes? Very expensive. Yeah, that's true. Nays. No, they think it's true. Are you a terrible drone flyer? It's not true. It's nine times. Yeah, I, knew. <laughs> I, 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 I almost spoke up. I was like, I reckon he's being a slippery bastard. I reckon he's going to like alter it by like one number or something. <laughs> yeah, it's a very expensive hobby of mine. <laughs> I can imagine. The yeah. same drone, or did you have to no, like, no, get every a new time drone? It's, it's half such up. an impact. I have to buy a new one. I crashed the first one. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why it's nine. Okay. Yeah. Now, I'm a bit hesitant here, Aussie. Um, I'm a little Fair bit enough. nervous. This is getting live streamed, so uh, give, us, give us your a a anecdote, please. Uh, okay. Um, no, I'll, I'll uh, embrace your fear and go uh, full-blown <laughs> vulgarity. Um, I once had Pornhub reach out to me to I do a sponsored video. <laughs> <laughs> Over to you. <laughs> True. <laughs> Anyone for false? Uh, Ozzy, uh, are you yes, going so lowly of you think oh, I'm an actual bum, don't you? I don't know. I've not had Pornhub reach out, but I'm waiting. I am waiting in the wings, in the darkness. Actually, it was another adult website that reached out. So <laughs> close enough. Yeah, close You're like pretty much right. Fuck. We'll, we'll have to. Uh, those of us who visit those sites will have to keep an eye out for you. Yeah. 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 Maybe yeah. not. Well, I, I, look, I chose Asus. Hey, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Now, Austin, this is all fun and games, and obviously you're only here for 20 hours, and you're, you're shooting constantly. How do, you, how do you do it? How do you find the balance between the two and to be sociable and live life like a normal person? So I've been doing YouTube full-time for 10 years now. And for most of that time, it was just me by myself. Thankfully, these days, I have built a team and I have some people to help. But in the early days, it was really difficult because I think everyone up here probably shares the same sentiment. It's like you're constantly on the hamster wheel. Like mm. being a content creator, you can't take a few days off or a week off because the audience, they largely don't care. So it's a matter of constantly thinking about that next project, constantly working on that next project. And it can be incredibly stressful and incredibly draining. I think finding a work-life balance is incredibly crucial because I think so many people come up, so many kids these days come up watching our videos and go, oh, that looks like fun, without realizing that you can never stop. Mm. It sounds really depressing when I say it like yeah. that. You can never <laughs> Is that a stop. sentiment? Sorry, I just need to, this should have been like unload. a stand with like some tissues. To I just, <laughs> guys, how many love videos? <laughs> But Just uh, like and subscribe, please. please. Yeah, that's I think that's all they totally ask. right, though, because yeah. when you work for yourself, there's this certain pressure where it's like there's always something more to do. There's always another photo to take, always mm. another video to create. And it feels really weird to take time off and just relax mm. because you can't, you know, for a little while, especially when you're starting out, you feel like you have to hustle and knuckle down. You also can't fully disconnect, I find. Like, yeah. let's say you have a week. You're like, I'm going to take one week off. You have to overwork a little bit around it, like yeah. either side, before yeah. and after. But you also just, like, you need to work a little bit throughout. But you just pick and you cater it so that you can just come in, do the comfortable stuff and keep going. Exactly. Because it's the only way you can actually get away. you can never shut away. that part of your brain off. Yeah, you're always yeah. thinking about the content. You're always thinking about the audience. No I think also, what. when you're a freelancer, you never know when the next paycheck is coming. Mm. So you always go above and beyond to try and get all your work done as quickly as possible. So mm. you never take a rest. Mm. But also, when you do something that is your hobby, and, yeah. Yeah. you know, it, it's kind of blurred the lines between work and research or just sitting on YouTube and, you know, <laughs> <laughs> vegging out and enjoying some other videos. Yeah. That's when it's difficult to have some balance there because would you just do that for fun anyway or are you actually working? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's I recommend having a baby. Like, because <laughs> they just force you to stop and there's nothing you can do. It's like, oh, yeah, I work for myself and I'm working odd hours and around the clock. But when the baby is awake and, like, mm. you know, trying to survive... You really have to force yourself to not think about yourself and your content. So just do that. Kane, Pia, right. bloody work on it. <laughs> no pressure. Right, let's go. <laughs> have, have, uh, have a, do you have a baby, uh, Aussie man? Oh, yeah, 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 I do. Yeah, it's not like <laughs> bullshit advice. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's serious. It's, you know, that kid, that separation anxiety kicks in. He's like, hold me, hold me. It's like you can't do anything. Mm. So, yeah, that'll really bring your life to a grinding halt. So I recommend it. <laughs> Right. That's, that's not concerning in the slightest. <laughs> I'm excited right. now. Yeah, yeah. but uh, Fia, something you did bring up was that uh, things that you do enjoy, your hobbies, they might become work. Now, you guys obviously travel a lot. Mm. Is, there, is there a world where like 
some of the shine of traveling, like I'm sure everyone enjoys traveling, gets taken away because you are working now, it's part of your job, and you've always got that sort of work self-starter brain and you're going, oh, we should shoot this and shoot that. Yeah, look, absolutely. There's an element of, you know, we're pinching ourselves because we have these incredible life experiences that we're going to cherish forever. But then also what looks like a holiday on a vlog is us up at 5 a.m. getting ready, Kane's shooting the sunrise, I'm getting some makeup on, you know, we're going out and shooting pictures and shooting videos. And then by like 3 or 4 p.m., we're back in the hotel room editing, going through all the content and uploading for the day. So it does. it's not like you're just in a sarong with a pina colada, relaxing. It's kind of intended to look like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. Now right. we actually have a, looks like that. a video from, from Jazza about his uh, workflow. So let's check it out. I'm actually using the Zenbook Pro Duo, and this thing is a beast. This is absolutely wild. As you can see, it's got two monitors. Both, by the way, are touch screens. You can set up your programs and layouts to spread across these screens as if it's a multi-monitor display, but you can also save presets of your favorite programs and stuff. So, boom, and then that is my Premiere setup. I'll have the timeline and all of the parameters up there, but I have my Lumetri panel down there, my mixing desk down there, and it's so cool because it gets them out of the way. I use them all the time, but they're so irrelevant to have on the main display, and because it's a touch screen, I find myself like just pressing the sliders and moving them. It's really cool. Added utility, especially in Premiere when you're bringing in other assets and stuff, of having a file browser down here instead of up here or needing to sort of pop it up, you know, sort of bring it in and then go between the program and the file explorer. Whereas this is just like really minty. Oh, and then this is my, uh, this is my Photoshop setup. And as you can see, the way I like to use Photoshop is actually to work in large form on the thumbnail of the art and actually have my, uh, my little navigator down there. So that's always visible and that's like a way for me to see what the, the thumbnail looks like in context. Like let's say I'm working on the details and I can see what the overall thing looks like, which I'm pretty happy about. Oh, I didn't realize my hands were so red and splotchy in that video. One of the craziest things that like just having done that video, it was running After Effects, Premiere Pro, EB Synth, uh, and EB Synth was synthesizing. Uh, it had Photoshop open and also was recording two 4K screens in the background. All of that at the same time. And it didn't bat an eyelid. That's crazy. <laughs> and I stand by that. <laughs> <laughs> but you were talking about how you've only had uh, the, the Pro Joy for a short period of time, but you actually went uh, off site away from yeah. your old laptop. Yeah, it was like the best introduction to using it and playing around with the workflow because I had two weeks away, one week for a holiday, which meant a lot of overworking, a little bit of working while I was away, and then I had a week at VidCon. So by the time I got back to the studio, there was a lot of catch up work to do, a couple of weeks, uh, and by that point, I'd had, I got the laptop while I was at VidCon. So I was doing like full on editing work while I was still out of studio, but going through like multiple edits in one night, but just like faster than I ever have on the go, which was really cool. But that was also when I was setting up the multi-monitor thing. Um, and it was a really good experience to just sort of find the best fit and then just have it a tap away. It's been really cool. So um, the other thing I found really interesting is that since I've been back, like I was saying, you know, you have the, you work more out around the time away. So I still had more work to do when I got back. But instead of, you know, I'd, I'd, I finish work at 5.30, I come in, I help put the kids to bed and feed them and, and do all that. Then I often go back out to the studio at 8.30 or 9 for two or three hours, sometimes more or less. Um, but this time I've been able to just bring my laptop into the house and that makes a huge difference, especially just to, you know, that work-life balance thing you were talking about. To be yeah, able yeah, yeah. How many actually, kids do you have? How many kids do you have? I have two. Oh, you have two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm not competing. I just got the one. Yeah, we'll let it <laughs> it. Let it nice. You know what I like about the laptop? Uh, what, what dare you? I ask? I like the keyboard. Oh, yeah, great, yeah, yeah, it's overlooked, but the keyboard, <laughs> you know, you because whenever I get a new device or a new computer or a laptop, I like to just sit there and feel it for a second, like just kind of <laughs> meditate on it, and I'm like, this is good, this is solid. It's not like one of those flimsy, piss-weak keyboards. Mm. It's like it's got, you know, the buttons can handle my fingers when I get really busy going bang, 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 and I like that. So, well, you well done, it? Asus. Yeah, I don't know if you're after keyboard feedback, but you're getting some... And the colour gamut's good. <laughs> the colour gamut is good. Austin, do you share those sentiments about the keyboard? Absolutely. The keyboard's great. 
And especially the fact that you have that secondary display. I mean, like you were saying, like traditionally, I think most of us probably use like multiple monitors when you're editing. Usually, you know, you're sitting mm. at your desk and it's nice to have, you know, some things up on one display, some things on another. And traditionally, when you're using a laptop, there's that limitation, right? You've got a small display. You can only fit so much stuff on there. It's kind of small and cramped. But the fact that with that secondary display, you can move so much of your workflow down there and with the added benefit of it being a touchscreen, so you can easily, you know, yeah. grab the audio or whatever. That's a really useful feature. Yeah, yep. I do. It's mm. interesting that it's like right next to the keyboard, and it's where the keyboard normally is, so it doesn't feel weird to yeah. just reach up and interact, which is yeah. cool. And uh, you guys obviously got the uh, the 15-inch there. So Ozzy, I you have the, the four and a half grand 15-inch. That's the one you have. Oh yeah, man, I got the big one. Yeah, the yeah, one? I got the big one. Yeah, right. yeah, the heavy bastard. Why it feels like it's like one? Captain America's <laughs> shield as well. I re I, you know, I'm impressed by how strong it is. Very nice. But uh, obviously, Kane, probably more so than anyone else on this panel, you would be on the fly editing, right? And you have the, the smaller 14. So we've got the smaller one, which I've used for about a week now. And normally at home, I have two screens. When, when you edit, you need two screens, really. And so I always find going to a laptop is a bit of a compromise. My workflow gets slower because I'm flicking between windows. And with this, this is the first time I don't feel like I'm compromising my workflow. And it's actually, I've not suffered any slowdown editing, which has been great. Mm. Absolutely. OK, now we are running a little bit over time. And just to finish off, uh, start with you, Ozzy, this time on that side of thing. What is, uh, in your creation process, apart from obviously the, the essentials of your computer and your camera, what is an essential piece of gear you never go out there uh, without? The centerpiece of gear, I never go out. Well, I mean, that's bloody easy, mate. Not really nice. Yeah, nice. <laughs> can't, can't they get content me from A them. to B. Um, they're, you know, that's like the Asus keyboard. It's, that's strong. So never leave home without them. Simple, simple answer. <laughs> Wonderful insight there, Kane. Mine's far less boring. It's just I, carry, I travel with a massive power block, like an eight-way power block. Right. So I only have to bring one international adapter plug that into the wall, and then everything's plugged in. Yeah, clever. Fear? I always think that the best camera that you can use is the one that you have on you. So I would say what I don't leave the house without is typically my phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. yeah, I'd probably second like the camera thing. Yeah. Like at the end of the day, yeah, I like making things, but I like showing how I make things. So that's always what I take with me is some sort of way to share what I'm making. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. For me, it's actually my bag. So yeah. I try to keep my bag prepped with everything I need. So mm -hmm. if I'm traveling, I have all the cables, the adapters, all that kind of stuff, battery banks, extra SD cards, dongles, more dongles, three or four more dongles. That's all I need. <laughs> <laughs> nice, a lot of dongles. OK, guys, unfortunately, that's all we have time for. But please make sure to stick around the, after the event as uh, I believe uh, all our wonderful guests will be hanging around. And you guys don't mind uh, randoms coming up to you and talking to you. Ozzy, I bet you love it. Yeah, no, I love randoms. They're good people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah absolutely. All right, let's give no a worries. round of applause to our wonderful panel. <laughs> just, uh, come up here for the yeah, photo. Good. Are we doing it? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I don't think we deserve <laughs> that, that yet. We're taking a photo. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah. It's a bit okay. of a photo thing happening here. <laughs> you want me to like lean? We can make it like... I'm only little, so... Like a movie Oh, are we touching? Cha like with the Sandlot kids. Everyone say... Creativity! Oh, creativity. <laughs> or time. Creativity! Just make me feel awkward. Just like content. 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 Influencer. Influencer. Ha hashtag hey. something. All right, thanks. <laughs> Have a great Asus. Thank Let's you. Let's give another round of applause. Okay. Be sure to stick around after the keynote presentation. They will be at the demo area following the event. Now, very exciting time as Asus like I said, they're bringing the love and they're going to give out the love to a lot of their partners that make their business work here down under. So I'd like to welcome back up onto the stage, Mr. Eric Chen. Now we've got some uh, awards here, don't we, to give out. To, we'll begin with, of course, the 2019 Partner of the Year Awards. And it's a bit of a list, so we'll hold the uh, applause to the end. And first up, the ASUS Channel Partner of the Year goes to Centercom. Hey. 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 to come up on stage. That's going to be a long clap. Oh, yes. Sorry, oh, no, we'll just... 
Oh, we'll just stay here. We'll get a photo in the end. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, okay. we want, we want sure. to see you grace right. the stage. Okay. <laughs> All right, now the Asus ROG Partner of the Year goes to Scorpion Technology Computers. Now this is uh, the hero product here, the Asus ZenBook Partner of the Year goes to, lucky you stand on the stage, Centacom. Now the next award is the Asus Education Partner of the Year and that goes to CDM. Now the next one is for the ASUS Enterprise Partner of the Year, and that goes to none other than Frond Australia. The ASUS SMB Partner of the Year goes to Computer Alliance. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And now the final one for the partner category, the ASUS Fastest Growth Partner of the Year goes to none other than M-Wave. So we have our photo now, if you want to go to the center stage, yeah. You guys want to go to the stage and have a photo? Here we are with the photo for all the winners now. Now let's yeah. give them all a round of applause, our partner award winners for 2019. More than one for you? Yeah, yeah why not? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. Just get this way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now time for the 2019 ASUS Distributor of the Year Awards. The first one goes to the ASUS Fastest Growth Distributor of the Year, and that is none other than Dikadata. Now the final award in the category, the ASUS Distributor of the Year for 2019 goes to Cinex Australia. Hey. 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 Take a photo together after this one, just in a second. Yeah, not yet. Yeah, no, no, no. Please congratulate our Distributor Award winners for 2019. Now we have uh, one more award category and one very special winner remaining tonight. This is the ASUS Business Partner of the Year and that goes to PB Tech. Thank you very much to our award winners, Eric. I'll get you to stay on the stage just a little bit longer and grace us with your presence. 
If I could please get the executives back up onto the stage, Rex Lee, Peter Chung, Jason Loy, and Lena Seng, along with our influencers, Austin Evans, Jazza, Kane and Pierre, and of course, Aussie Man for the executive photo. Uh, so, Austin, stay with that side with those men. Yeah, yeah. Let me get you guys. All right, let's put a round of applause for our esteemed speakers and lovely guests. Thank you so much for joining us. Of course, we'll see you all very soon. And thank you so much, guys. That about wraps it up for tonight. And thank the you, everyone. Note, thanks. Thank you. Keynote presentation. Now. Thanks. Thanks, Danny. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you, can, you can stay up here if you, you like. Oh, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I heard there was a party. Danny. A uh, party? Yeah, Andrew Chan, Singaporean fella, about yay high, um, said there was a bloody party. I've got it in writing, so I'm just keen to know where the party is. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I was going to surprise them with it, but you, you came here for the show, right? The party's just an added bonus. Oh, the show's not bad. Like, from, yeah, I mean, Andrew Chan and I negotiated. I was like, I came for like 20% show, 80% party, really. Um, oh, cool. Well, uh, give, just give me one second. Uh, of course, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you to the lovely staff, crew, and event that make this event possible. And of course, we will see you next time. Aussie man, yeah. your party awaits. Where is it? Where is it? Where's it going? Something over here. Something happening. Something happening. Something's moving. I think something's, there's some suspense. Oh, yeah, there's a party in there. That's a party area. There it is. It's opening the gates. It's like the bloody pearly gates of heaven. <laughs> Come on, here we go. Let's go to the party. <laughs>